today on Logan Lee Adventures. My boyfriend Yurun and I continue our Southern Africa road trip, this time to Swaziland, a small landlocked monarchy known for its wilderness reserves and is actually now renamed Eswatini due to the king. It's another beautiful day in South Africa for leaving South Africa. So we are on our way to the border to Swaziland and uh, we had a really great time in South Africa but what our trip has been is we've been zigzagging from through South Africa to Lesotho, back to South Africa, now to Swaziland and then of course back and forth, back and forth throughout these different countries making South Africa of course our main central point but to also check out these beautiful other countries that we haven't, well I haven't explored yet but Yurun has explored Lesotho and Swaziland a year ago so now he's going to show me around a bit and I'm really excited because I haven't been to these countries and these countries have always been like the little interlocking countries dots in the middle of South Africa so I've always been curious about those countries and now that Lesotho has been so amazing I don't know what to expect for Swaziland so I'm excited to see what Swaziland has to offer and what is the difference in the culture between Swaziland and Lesotho so we're heading towards the border now and then we're gonna get new steps and the next adventure begins we're in Swaziland New country. So this is the new departure step from South Africa and then a new arrival step into Swaziland. We have arrived to our accommodation in Mbambane, Swaziland. So we're here at Esther's Lodge, which is a really nice lodge in the nook of these mountains in the background. And we're just gonna go check it. This is our little lodge. They gave us two beds, but that's fine. We'll push them together later. It's a whole apartment. So what are we making today? We are having breakfast in our lodge. And I think this is some type of pork that our lodge provide. And so all this our lodge provides for breakfast. And since it's a, we have our own apartment. The kitchen here, so I cook eggs and the pork and we had two already on. So this is nice little uh, snack before we get the rope. We're at the Mantenga Nature Reserve, just south of Mbetani and we're walking towards I think there's this really beautiful waterfall in this nature reserve, so we're gonna go check it out. I can hear the falls. No way, no, that's true. No. Look, a waterfall. Whoa. This hike up to the waterfalls is nothing compared to the Royal Natal mountains that we did. So I'm really glad. But that doesn't mean that my legs aren't still killing me from those previous hikes. We made it! I'm, I'm going down for him. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, he's taller than me, so he's punching. But he's more red! Well, we had a really great time hiking this morning and seeing the cool waterfalls in the Mantanga Nature Reserves, but we just got to Embam. Emba. <laughs> and we're heading to the number one rated country, the number one rated restaurant. I'm full of tongue twist today. The number one rated restaurant in the country, or at least in Mbabane, which is like basically, you know, the economic capital of Swaziland. And it's called Rambla's Restaurant. So, you want to check it out and see what we can fill our stomach with.
Here we have vanilla and strawberry milkshake. Mm. This is proper milkshakes. Here we have springbok carpaccio. So springbok is an animal that I would describe as like an eland or an antelope. Well, that's what it looks like to me. And it's the national animal of the springbok rugby team in South Africa. But I've never had springbok before in meat form, so... Mm. So juicy, wow. That was great steak and calamari and chicken cordon bleu. But now, it's time for dessert. What a meal! I'm ready to pass out, but we have to hit the road. This has been Mbambe, Mba, Mbabane, and in Swaziland. And I hope you guys have been enjoying. And continuing our road trip, we're gonna head up the next most western point of Swaziland. <laughs> so tune in. <laughs> We made it to our accommodation. So we're at Shwelua Mountain Camp and it's literally on top of a mountain in the middle of Swaziland. So you can't really see it right now because of these trees, but I mean I can kind of see the view and it goes stretches right down right across the horizon and it's very beautiful. But it took us about 40 minute drive from the main road onto this Basically you see this like brown dirt, just like dirt rug, rugged road right here. So it's a 40 minute drive just to get up here, get to this accommodation. So we're going to go and try to check in now. Uh, last check in was about two hours ago so I'm not sure if anyone's still there hopefully. But look, we'll get to stay in these cool little huts. They look really cool from the outside. I have no expectations what they would be from on the inside. But we are just so far out from anybody else that I think it's really cool. Oh, Yarun found someone. He's talking to someone over there. Let's see, we're getting led to our room right now. Remembered it. Yeah, the shower. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you must. I must have been. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Guys, there's no electricity in our hut, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's so beautiful. So here you have this bed. Should we ask for breakfast? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you have to? Yeah. Because uh, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. So here we have this bed and I guess two bunk beds, which, you know, not really useful. And you can see the gorgeous roof that's made out of the straws, such as so. And then here are the curtains, cute giraffe curtains that overlooks outside the hut. A really chill area. <laughs> There's my boyfriend. <laughs> shower space. Here is the magnificent view. Look at this. How is this even real? You can have your breakfast over there too. And it just overlooks beautiful, beautiful mountains and hills. I am taken, just absolutely taken away by Swaziland's beauty and I hope that this inspires you guys to visit here if you haven't yet already just to see what this beautiful country has to offer I mean who knew from a landlocked country between South Africa and Mozambique would have such unreal beauty like this Lantern Portuguese Yeah No electricity, no Wi-Fi, just this burning lantern to keep us cozy in our mountain hut. Morning guys! So me and Yurun just had a amazing shower overlooking those views, those mountain views that I showed you guys. And now we're just gonna head over to the main reception hall for our breakfast at this really awesome mountain hut. <laughs> <laughs> so breakfast in Swaziland was add milk, add salt, and then a little bit of sugar as well into it. So it's some type of breakfast cereal. It's porridge. A porridge, yeah. And now add it as well as so we have some fresh lovely scrambled eggs so it's really beautiful and bread of course. Bye Swaziland, it's been a great adventure with you. I hope you enjoyed this vlog from the land of only 1.37 million people. Hit subscribe, give this video a like, leave us a comment below and stay tuned for another African adventure in our next video.